Come on, buddy. Come on. Why are you being so frady with this? What is what is freaking him out? I don't know. New space. Maybe it <laughs> smells funny to him. I don't know. I actually think it smells okay in here. I think it does too. Yeah. Maybe there's something at his level. <laughs> I don't know. That's comforting. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, yeah. we're back out here. Next day, new clothes, new hair. Um, we are going to take the valances down. They are super beefy. There's like wood in here and they are heavy. Yeah, they're like structural. <laughs> yes. And um, we're going to take the shades out too because it's just, this is not a huge space mm -hmm. and it is just making it more closed in than it needs to be. We need to let the sun shine in. I don't think we're going to do any painting in here, but we might be doing some things to brighten the space up. Stay tuned for that. There was one here. Yeah. And we already took it off. So here you can kind of see what we're talking about. So this is what the valance looks like. Oh, this one doesn't have sides. Yeah, this one doesn't have the sides, but it's the top right. is basically the same. So this is what the valance looks like. This is the inside. Solid so this wood. would be up, right? Mm -hmm. This was... I can hold it. This was screwed up in here. Mm -hmm. And then the blinds themselves... Are very heavy. Super heavy. And then you can see this is the night shade, or this is the day shade, this is the night shade, and they're just kind of stacked vertically mm -hmm. right and these were screwed up under the valance so they actually attach to the valance not the ceiling mm -hmm. and then you pull them down mm -hmm. so in here we're just going to remove the day night shades we're going to mm -hmm. remove the valances yep we're going to hold on to all this we'll pack it up nicely and throw it in the basement so yep. we, we can always put it back on mm -hmm. if and when we sell this thing or if we decide we want them back on because we need yeah when or if we get is. somewhere super hot and it's just like, oh gosh, we need it. Yes. I want to show them why, one of the big reasons why we're going to take these balances off too. Oh yeah, go ahead. So. Yeah, Aaron's been sitting here working during the day because it's quiet. And Brian can fit right here next to me because these, this dinette is yeah. so much bigger than the travel trailer. Dinettes are huge. But I, yep. even Tara was running into these. Like this one, I can't scoot all the way over. There's yep. a good you know, four or five inches that I can't go and over And then anymore. I was sitting here and this was poking me on the shoulder. So I was actually yep. hanging off the edge of the, the bench so it wouldn't do that. So this one, this one's just a pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess that one in yeah. the corner there. This one, Those two not too really bad. bad. The issue with this one, hey, if you were sitting over there. hey buddy. <laughs> the issue with this one is if we want to pull this out to be a couch, this, or to be a bed, sorry. This comes up and out but then you can't get it out all the way without scraping it on this and you can already see the previous owners have done that a couple times mm -hmm. so that's annoying and also if you're sitting here this is going to be right there you might hit your head on that so we it just don't so like balances funky. all right so let's go ahead and dismantle the bedroom let's do it uh and then and we'll see what happens from there all righty all righty here we go Oh, you're getting all up in there. All right, so. Look cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great angle. Got it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that didn't help. That made it worse. I've got it. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, God. Hello, it's all okay, coming down. Just the side. All right. No, it's all of it. Well, no, no. I mean, I, I didn't do any oh. upper screws. All righty. Okay. <laughs> Good well, to know. That's that. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how much more light you get from there. That was actually pretty easy. <laughs> I'm sure I looked wonderful flopping around on a bed. So, look at that. Even... So that shade is down just a little bit, but even when it's rolled up all the way, you don't have the whole window. They're not very taut, so I can't get to go Yeah, so anymore. the valance comes down and covers like four or five inches of the top of that window. Look at the difference. That's a lot more light. Mm-hmm. All right. That is amazing. Just, yeah. just taking this huge thing off did that. Huge difference. Yay. All right, let's get that other one off. Let's do it. Now that we know that we need to hold this. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. That should be loose. 
Look at that. It's a world of difference. Opens up the corners, like you can, there's actually space there. Uh, 99% positive this headboard's gonna go as well. So we're probably gonna do something like a, like a feature wall, like a headboard, like we did on the travel trailer. We did a headboard. Are you giving them no super no, no details, details. Okay. They came here I know. to watch us do this. I know. So we gotta headboard, hold something back. headboard's gonna go. We know that. Yes. And we're we gonna figure out how to take it off. Put something else there. We haven't decided yet. And y'all know this is all going, right? Yeah, we just put this, this here is, to protect the bed. Yeah, this is, this is all going. Yeah, these RV. What are they? It's not even a duvet. What is this? It's shiny. Ugh. <laughs> don't don't ruin that song. <laughs> <laughs> it is bad. All right, so that's awesome. So even if all we did was take those off and put roller shades up. You've already done it's five It's 500 percent better. I like it so far. Yay! Alrighty. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Yeah. What would you do on this wall? Maybe maybe we'll do well, maybe we'll have the community decide. I mean, that sounds dangerous. We could get We would present the face. options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not doing RV make RV face over there. No. <laughs> uh, but we we could maybe we'll come up with some options, put a poll up. Ooh. And have them decide. That could be interesting. What do you guys be. think? Let us know. What have you done behind your be your bedroom wall in your RV? Um, or what would you do? Are we um, going to do these right now? I just put these here because I didn't know where else to put them. Look how, <laughs> Look how big, big they these are. are. They're, They're so, so big. big. I thought they might scare Vector so I didn't put them on the other side. because He's being real skittish. Structures sometimes upset Yeah, them. I really hope that this these one... Are easy is two pieces. I really hope that that piece in the middle is just kind of mm. just kind of there. I hope it's not one like I think it's uh, I think what it might be one big 14 piece. foot long. I don't even 20. I don't even know how long that thing is. It's long enough. It is. And we have gotten really good at being minimalists. So you might be thinking, where in the world would you keep these? Um, we have a lot of basement space now, and I don't think we're going to fill up that basement space. So I think yeah. these, we're going to wrap them up um, probably in plastic bags so they have a little bit of protection. Yeah. Um, and then we'll just put them down underneath. Yeah, just kind of strap them in in that crossover area maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, good to go. All right, let's figure out what's next. Okay. All right, Aaron wants to do the one in the bathroom. Well, it's so tiny. It is. And I don't mind these mini blinds. They're like the metallic ones, yeah. you know, so they won't get all the moisture and they stuff. But look how loose this one already is. What is... Is there like a single screw in the middle? Uh, no, I feel like there's... No, well, maybe. So, typically I give Brian um, crap for using a drill for everything because I would just like to pick up a screwdriver and do it because I feel like I have a little bit more control. Um, this thing's heavy. It is. Heavy's not bad it's with not, the hand but tools It's not, I'm just though. taking screws out. Yeah, but the thing is, is a lot of those screws are really long, so use electricity. <laughs> is it locked? It's locked. I'm trying to push this button, like it's really <laughs> hard. <laughs> oh, cheese and rice. This you're not, might you, just be you're not a straight thing. up and down. You're at an angle. Brian Christopher. Oh my lord. You take this thing and you do it. You're not going to cheat me. I figured I could get my wife to help with something. Nope. On my birthday. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's coming down. You ready? I just invented something new. What's that? This is the personal mini blind device. This is social distancing to the extreme. Oh. Right, you can walk around, you're like, oh my God, he's sick. Metal protection. Wow. I, mm, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. I, I don't either. Um, okay. Oh my Lord. It's a big old window. It is. Let's figure out how that comes off. <laughs> Alrighty, let's just rip some stuff off the wall. You know what, it, it went up there, it, it has to come back down. I'm hoping it's just Velcro. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, oh, that's right, because in the travel trailer, there were like little buttons or like yep. little... You could pop the buttons off and there were screws behind them. That was a little clever. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, here. Let's watch me rip it off. <laughs> Please don't rip it. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's just long. So if you are wanting that to come off, you just take it off. Okay. Oh. And it's, it's out. Off. I 
I was thinking this was going to be terrible. Like, oh, there's six nails. Ooh. There are eight nails. Yep. And then there are itty bitty ones. And there are thousands Can of Can you guys samples. even see that? Oh, they're not even like a nail. Yeah. That's really weird. It's just like a spike. There's three yeah. of them down this way, two in the middle, and then three on the other way. You yep. look ridiculous like that. <laughs> well, I didn't know how else. I didn't want to like... You can't even really see the nail holes either. That's kind of nice. Yeah, they're very... They're teeny yeah. tiny. I don't even, you can't like, even if see we, it. If we use wallpaper on this or something, I don't even bother filming that. Wallpaper? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Remember, you guys are going to let us know what you would do down there. And maybe we'll take some of your ideas and then do a poll. Yeah. So, it's a big, wide open space. It is that. And now it has good lighting. Alrighty, so... Let's get you off of this bed. <laughs> Gracefully. Impossible. There's nothing graceful about... RV beds. Working around RV beds. Very true. Time to do the big ones. Yeah. But I think we're going to do the small ones first. Yeah, let's get the side ones out of the way. Okay. We'll get that one out of the way. Get that one out of the way. And then, who knows? <laughs> who knows what's going to happen with that middle one. Or better yet, if you manufacture RVs, stop, stop putting, putting these balances. on. <laughs> wow. So much better. All right, so that is a, uh, so that was what, 20, 24 minutes on the clock. Um, not too bad. The screens. Screens? Are not in. Popped out. Yeah. Either yeah. So, uh, so while Aaron criticizes everything. <laughs> Sorry. I just <laughs> look how much more light there is. This is lovely. Okay. So, so this is what it looks like now. Yep. This is what it looks like before. And now back to now. Wow. Love it. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love it. Super right. easy. And let's do a cliffhanger. We're gonna stop here. <gasps> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. What happens next? <laughs> Do the dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.